dragon zombie. Okay. This time that means we can use something like... I'll use the lighter one. I'm just using something that has, like, a lot of spell slots. Yeah, it's still pretty nice damage. Okay, so now I'm on the third floor. Okay, I remember the wizards being a bit of a problem. Let's just do a holy just in case here. Use our bigger moves. I forgot, it, it, they were either resistant to magic or to physical, I feel. But maybe not, either way. Run around with a ninja for a little bit. With Lock, Vampire Lord. Okay, mm. at least he survived. It wasn't a one hit KO. damage. So they're building a lot of dead ends into here, like a lot of empty rooms and dead ends just to just to keep you traveling and exploring. They don't want you like romping through this bit in 10 minutes. Big hits, man. They're just too strong. Uh, that's bad. Also bad. Wow, completely useless. But that was good. Wow, okay, that was some pretty big damage. So no one actually got poisoned, but it was still pretty big damage. Strength and stamina go up. Fine. Should be fine. Okay, this is more dangerous now. If we get like multiple poison gases, we could we could get in trouble. So we're gonna be careful here. Basically everything is empty in this room, it seems. There you go. Yeah, I do remember that they had some pretty significant moves. And the ninja is definitely taking big, big damage here. So I took a little bit of a chance by going attack only on them, but... So I've basically done a lap of the whole place now. Um, I 
Um, yeah, so the lack of ribbon for, for Locke is definitely hurting us at this stage. He's obviously being singled out in those uh, status moves. Wow, a successful flea, that's a rarity. But again, if only they had more HP. If they had like two or three times the HP, these would be significant fights. Since I have done a lap of this room now, I will take a more of an inspection here. And while I haven't seen anything that indicates progress, there is this wall right at the end. I feel like that has something a bit different, but no, all of these rooms do. Hmm. Yeah, there's no signs here to say that there's anything that grants you more progress. Hmm. But, I mean, this is all very clearly by design. They just want to... They want you to get a bit lost in here. Just love that little auto-regen they have. It's so good. So that's the only fear, really. Um, and the longer this takes, obviously, the more resources we're going to use up. And the harder it's going to be to get through. That's good damage from the mages. So I think this bottom floor needs a look as well. Once I've basically gone to all of the points, I think there's four different points on either side, yeah. So, but with the problem being that there doesn't look to be a way through for those. Hmm. Yeah, this is interesting. I think in terms of dungeon traversal, it's definitely been the most difficult one to figure out how to make progress. The rest of them have been fairly intuitive. If you look around enough, you just find the doors you need anyway. It's not a big deal. But... This one, I think I might even have to go back to the drawing board again. Just wondering if there's another way up from here. But... Let's use a tent or two first. We've already used up a lot of resources to make it this far. And I think what I will do is actually just stock up on some more items. I've got a ton of gill. Alright, let's take a look. Um, maximize those. We're going to maximize those. We have a ton of money anyway. Maximize everything. Just get 99 everything. Why not? Yeah, still have plenty of money. <laughs> Okay. And the final thing I want to check is if the other town has just any other things. I think, because, let me look. There's also dry ether. I just don't remember if I can buy dry ether from anywhere. I'm just trying to go to the last, like, the what I imagine to be the most kind of advanced towns near the end of the game. No, okay. So I don't think you can buy dry ethers. I'm hoping that the 99 normal ethers I got will be enough. <laughs> okay, let's get back to it. It's kind of funny that the Chaos Shrine really is, like, it's the absolute center point of the world. Like, this literal, I think it's literally designed in a way where this is quite literally the middle. It's almost exactly the middle. That's kind of cool.
So yeah, I had a sneaky suspicion you might be able to get through this bit, but it's not the case. I won't let you through. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back here. And have another look at the situation. I don't know if there's a way to drop back down to a different level, potentially, or something. Whoa. Yeah, so this is definitely magic time. Good defense, though. Only 186 damage taken. enough. I don't think they're weak to fire. But I think from here we can finish it with attacks. They're pretty close to dying anyway. I do think they're weaker to lightning. I'm going to try Thundarga next time. So many dead ends. that move again. Just the amount of damage Locke has taken is huge, man. Is there nothing we can do for him? It's massive damage. Defense 67, 58. It's weird because his defense is 58, but I guess... Yeah, I don't know. It's another one of these where I just uh, I don't know how the, the damage works, really. I guess it's an elemental poison counts as an element too. And because he doesn't, I assume these ribbons, like it does almost like a double protection. It protects against the poison status maybe. Or maybe that's not even a status attack, it's just a pure poison elemental attack because um, he's not exactly getting poison from this. So maybe we should still use this. Honestly, we've been instant deathed. Yeah, no sign of progress on this floor. Wow. Yeah, they're definitely weak to ice. Some level ups again. This time, it's a bit of a better one for Auron. Okay. <laughs> yeah. VB closing in on lock. The Black Wizard. The, the ninja has just had absolutely terrible HP. Absolutely terrible. Oh, I didn't see the door in the middle. Okay. So there is a door in the middle. That's what I had missed. It felt like this floor had too much going on for there not to be some kind of path. So this time it was right in the middle. With the way the the like the room is completely like blacked out, I thought that was just it just meant that there's no access to that central part, but there is. And we have some kind of guard in here. Uh, let's heal up a little first. All right, what have we got? Death Eye. I've got a preemptive strike, so it's probably not going to get a turn. If it gets a turn, I'd be incredibly impressed. But I'd rather my mages didn't both use their stuff if it wasn't necessary. Yeah. Okay. So, two more chests here. Dry ether. Yeah, I'm not going to auto battle. Yeah, would have obviously loved one more ribbon for Locke, but hey, it keeps things a, a little more interesting, right? Okay. So 
So what's going on? Have we already made it to the end? If so, we're missing like four chests. <laughs> Some kind of ladder. Okay, second floor. Nice. The, like it, it seemed quite dramatic there. I thought, oh shit! Like the the boss is gonna make an appearance. We're gonna fight the final fight, but not quite yet. Hmm. Nice to have a bit of a change up of enemies here. If they're even hitting Auron for 50, that's that's pretty heavy. Gotta watch out. Nice. Yeah, it would definitely be nice to get all of the chests before finishing up here. Make sure we get rid of this one first. Just about. I thought I was going to get a turn there because I messed up the attack order there. Another empty room. I feel like eventually we're going to get some kind of like seven Rios set up or something like that. Let's fire off a. Quake just looks so cool when it actually works. <laughs> yeah. That's why I still try and stick to the elementals. Happy to stick to Fire here. Almost a level up again. Right, so there's something there, but I want to check the other rooms first. Diaga. I assume they're all going to be empty, but again, I'd be annoyed if there was like a chest in one of them and I missed it. I don't think I've seen the dragon zombies come up with a move yet. I assume they have at least one breath, like all hitting kind of move, but we haven't seen it. At least in this session. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to double check. Um, there's no chests in here. Okay. So now we can make a push for the next floor. These are slightly lower level enemies, so the, the Ice Storm is weak. That was lucky. That was lucky. Okay. 
wimp. Weakness disgusts me. So now we're up to two Rios, so I did say we're going to get seven Rios, like half jokingly, but we're definitely going to get more of them. Uh, I assume Diara slash Diaga doesn't work on these guys, but it's worth a little look. Try... I don't know if maybe one of them is undead, but no. So this should take out the Rios at least. Yeah. Nice, more level ups. Auron's just not getting that HP anymore. These have been some poor level ups. Locke finally gets a big one, just as he's about to be caught by Vivi. Big HP increase for unit again, that was a really nice level up. Ah. And a power staff, okay. This one's still the best. Yeah, okay, so this is how we end up at this bit. I wanted to for a while. It's just we can only go to the other end of this, and that's it. I think there's no, there's literally no other choice in, in this segment. It's all been like, locked out. Yeah. Would be nice to see him consistently hit four digit, but he'd need a few more strength boosts for that, I think. Nothing there. Probably have to go all the way around. It does carry on, I have to see the rest of this. I'm almost certain that you have to obviously go through the middle, but still. Just do it again. There's a path through. There, there's a few things going on here still. So, I thought you just go through the central bit, and that's that. It might still be the case that that's how you progress, but. There you go, 1081. Nice. Treasures, no, it's another empty room. There you go. Okay, I don't know where the consistent <laughs> four digit damage is coming from now, but. Gold needle, oh well. Hmm, it's a fourth there. Whoa. Uh, 
fire up a couple of things here. Seven hits, wow. But yeah, starting to see that four did your damage now. Oh, I did not like that. Yeah, I guess they're relatively low level. So I guess this is blocked off. Yeah, okay. Are they already committed? As soon as you press square at the start, they're already kind of loading up. Yeah. Honestly, it might have been for the best. One of us did get paralyzed, so maybe this is the right thing to do. All along. But yeah, okay. So it really is only the bottom corner that we can go to. So I guess we are on like the earth floor at the moment. Okay. You can see them encounters really piling up though. Another level up. Okay, big HP this time and strength. That's what I'm talking about. Got to at least hit the 1,000 HP before the final boss with one of the characters, right? Okay, another one we can just blast through. I'm still amazed that the stone golems don't have, like, really high physical protection. I, I thought that would be a given. Okay, small HP increase for lock. Ah, but a small one for VB as well. I, I kind of really want the Black Mage to overtake the ninja, because just be silly. Okay, here we go. Another fight against this guy again. So, is it a souped up version? It would be, again, silly, I think, if it had exactly the same stats as when we first met it, but stranger things have happened. So, we'll see. Uh, try a null. Oh, it's only one of us. I thought it was everybody. Uh, what's the best way to go here? I mean, they love to use their physical a attacks, honestly. That worked. Again, I kind of want to see what it can do, you know? It needs to at least use a turn or two. But with these two, I basically don't have any choice but to attack, so that's what I will do. Yeah! Woo! That's a real attack. I don't know if slower really affects uh, magic, honestly. So as long as these guys are using their magic abilities, they're going to cause us problems. Uh, how do we reduce their magic damage output or increase our magic defense? Let's do this, actually. Whoa. Okay. Where have these moves been? The entire game. Now we are talking. These look like real ba battles now. Let's see. Mm. Now it's using almost exclusively magic as it kind of should be. As I say that, use a physical attack, of course. But really leaning into Auron to do a lot of damage here for us. And we'll see if we can keep him alive. And we'll fire off this Arca, see how we do. I love the animation for that uh, item toss, by the way. 16 hits, wow. But hey, we got to see some cool moves. I'm not 
complaining. And well, we're going to have to face the other elementals too, so... That's cool. Let's go.